Yes, in one click. I'm not exaggerating. This is not a clickbait title at all. This is real. Okay, if you follow what you are going to learn in this video, you will be able to improve all of your product descriptions in just one click. So, are you ready to learn how? Let's get started. In order to make this happen, we are going to use two platforms or actually one platform and an integration. The first platform that we are going to use, it's called make.com and it's a platform that allows you to set up automations. The second thing that we are going to use is OpenAI or ChatGPT. So let me show you how to do this because it might seem a little bit complicated, but in reality, it's super easy. Just follow the steps I'm going to show you and you will be able to update all of your product descriptions in just a few seconds. So this is the platform that we are going to use to set up the automation in order to update all of our product descriptions. And before you start like assuming that this is going to be super expensive, it's not, because if you go to the pricing section in here, you will see how affordable this platform is. You can go with $9 per month. You can even go with a free trial, with a free version with a free trial and try it out before committing to the $9 per month. If you are going to do it once, maybe the free trial would be more than enough. So as you can see, this is not expensive at all and it's super easy to set up. So the first thing I need you to do is to log into this platform or to sign up to this platform in order to start working with it. So here I am inside of my make.com account and depending on how many automations you have already set up, you might see a different dashboard in here. This is a new account, so it might look very similar to yours. Okay, what I need you to do is to go in here to templates because this is gonna give you an idea about what we are looking to achieve. And under templates, you will see a set of automations that you can directly use. So we are going to search in here for Shopify and we are looking at all like the default templates that we can find in here. You can create your own automations or use one of the templates that are already pre-made, especially if you are just starting out and you don't need to complicate things, this is a very good start. Okay, so as you can see, there are some pre-made templates that you can use from. You can even in here add another search term if you are searching for something more specific like Clavio or Omnisand or whatever. So as you can see in here, there are so many templates that are set up already and we are going to use one of them. So an already set up template, we just need to link our accounts and get it like live and run it. Okay. So I'm going to use this one actually, and as you can see, it's called generate high converting descriptions for Shopify products using OpenAI. I'm going to choose it. And once I do that, I will see the different steps or the different, let's say, elements that are within this automation. So basically, this is make.com going to Shopify. So this is the first step. This is Shopify. Then OpenAI is going to write the descriptions. Then we are sending them back to Shopify. Okay, so this is a step-by-step, -step, like to say, algorithm of how this automation is going to, to work. If we go back in here to templates and, for example, we search again for Shopify, you can, for example, notice that this is a very simple template where we are sending information from Shopify to Google and they are information related to orders. Okay, we are going again to use this template. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on start guided setup. The only tricky part in here would be to link your Shopify account in here and to link your OpenAI account in here and most importantly to give OpenAI the right instructions. So step number one would be to link our Shopify store. I have already a Shopify store that's linked but I'm gonna link a new store so you can get an idea. I will click on add and I will call it Shopify full and in here I just need to put my domain name. So going back in here to Shopify if I go to settings what I need actually to copy uh, you can find in here under domains and it's basically this part in here, the part before my Shopify. Okay, so I just need to copy this part like this. And I will go back to make.com and paste it in here. Once I do that, I will click on save. And they will be taking me to a Shopify page to install the make.com app. I will click on uninstall. And once this is done, my Shopify store is linked to make.com. As you can see, it's super simple, it's straightforward. Okay, in here I want to choose the status of the, uh, let's say, product after doing this automation. So do I want it to go directly live? Do I want to keep it as draft until I recheck it? Uh, or something like this. I want to keep it as draft because after doing this automation, I want to go back to my products and I want to try to read the descriptions, make sure everything is fine, see if I need to change or to improve anything in this automation uh, again. So I will keep it here as draft. Then for the status, this is the status of the 
products themselves. So are they already published? Are they not published yet or so on? I'm gonna choose to change the description of my unpublished uh, products, okay? And I will click on continue. And here you decide when do you want this automation to be working? Is it since specific dates? Or do you want to run it only manually or all the time or from now? Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, from now on and click on save. In here, I need to link my OpenAI account to make.com. And this could be a bit tricky, okay? As you can see, I have already linked my account, but if you want to link your account, there are some things that you need to do. I will click on add just to show you an example. So you need to enter an API key and you need to enter your organization ID and you find those within your OpenAI account. If you don't have an OpenAI account, you simply need to go to openai.com and sign up to an account. And from there, you go to uh, general. This is the organization ID. You need to copy this one and paste it in here. Then you need to go to the API key and create a key that's specific for make.com, okay? So you click here on create a new secret key. You name the key. And once you name it, let's call it trial. I'm not gonna use it actually. And once I do that, they will give me the key. And please take care, they only give it to you once. So make sure to copy it and paste it somewhere safe. You click on copy. Once you do that, you go back in here to make.com. You fill the API key and you fill the organization ID key. And you click on save. And then this way, your OpenAI account will be linked to your uh, make.com account. I have already linked my account, so I'm not going to repeat this step. But now you know what you need to enter, your API key and your organization ID. One more thing that you need to do in order to make sure that you have access to the latest ChatGPT uh, model is to uh, buy tokens from OpenAI. You just need to pay a little bit of money, maybe $10 or something like this. It's like the amount, the more tokens you have, the more words you can get OpenAI, let's say, to write for you. In order to do that, you go in here to your OpenAI account and you go to billing and you just add some credits. As you can see, I only have $9.97. It's not expensive at all. Just put $10, check it out. It should be more than enough and it will last you for a lot of time. If you want to know more about their pricing, if they have like so many in here uh, documents, they will tell you about the pricing for each ChatGPT model and for the amount of words or characters or something like this. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me just take one moment to explain something to you. ChatGPT is the AI tool that we are all now, almost all using and there are so many versions of ChatGPT, so many models. Some of them are for free, some of them are paid. If you are using the paid version of ChatGPT, you will have access to the more advanced uh, models. So like not for now, it's for mini or something like this. Later on, we might have more advanced uh, models. If you don't pay for ChatGPT, if you have the free account, you will have access to the, I think three or 3.5, but it's way better to use the latest version of ChatGPT. It's a small amount of money. And remember you are actually writing and updating the descriptions of all of your products. So paying a little bit of dollars in here is not a very big investment and it's not something to stop at. So once you have credits in here and you go back in here to your make.com, you will be able to see the latest version of ChatGPT. If you didn't buy any tokens from here, you will only see ChatGPT 3 or 3.5, okay? So I have my OpenAI account linked. In here, I need to select the model and this is what I was talking about. Okay, I will choose this one. And in here, I need to choose the model, okay? And I will choose the latest one. As you can see, I, he I have here access to all the models. I'm gonna go with um, this one, for example. So once you choose your system from here, sometimes you might not be able to see these directly. In this case, like save, leave the page and come back again to the scenario, you will be able to see it. It's super important to see this part in here because this is where we are going to put the message that we are going to send to JetGPT. Okay, so again, in case you didn't see any of this data in here, just click save, click save on the full uh, page and go back to your scenarios from here and edit, you will be able to see it. Sometimes it does this small glitch or it needs a little bit of time to update. Okay, so we have chosen the model in here and this is the message that we are going to give to ChatGPT. And as you can see, it's already set up. You can use it directly or you can improve it and change it. And not only that, if you want, for example, to write your product descriptions in Arabic or in French or in whatever other language, you can tell ChatGPT this in here. I've actually changed 
the message that I want to send to ChatGPT, and I have included like some things that I care about the most. I'm going to show you the prompt I put in here and you are free to use it if you want. So this is the prompt I use in order to tell ChatGPT or to ask ChatGPT to create better product descriptions. Okay, uh, as you can see uh, at the beginning, we have like some general instructions about what I want to do. And then we have like a paragraph about the niche, the brand and the products. In my opinion, it's super important to tell ChatGPT what we are looking to achieve. And it's super important to give more context about our brand and what we are selling. The more you can teach or educate ChatGPT about your products, the better it is, because it means that ChatGPT will have more data and more information to write better descriptions. Okay, so this part is going to be different from one brand to another, so make sure to rewrite it. After that, in here we have the task, and it's the list of things that I want from ChatGPT. So, for example, I have the objective, I have the number of words I want in the description, you can modify this, the tone, the, uh, for example, I want to focus on benefits, and so on. If, for example, you are selling for kids and you want that tone to be fun and, let's say, playful, this is where you should be telling ChatGPT this, okay? So, also in here, read this section, make sure like to update it to be more suitable uh, to your brand and to your products. And then we have the format and we have some additional notes, okay? So this is my proposal for the prompt, but please feel free to use anything you want. It depends on you and what you are looking to achieve. The most important thing is to be detailed when you do this, because the better your prompt is, the better your product descriptions are going to end up. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in make.com. So I'm copying it, going back to make.com in here, and I will paste it. Okay, the only thing that you should do is uh, in here, replace this by from here the title because basically we want to like uh, capture the title from Shopify and it's now in here functioning so you don't need to change it and basically that's it. Okay, and I will click on save. Once this is done, okay, you just need to go to the last step in here and precise your store in here, choose your store. At this stage, you might be asked to go back to Shopify and give full access. They will redirect you to Shopify, click on OK update and it will be working. OK, so this is my store and I will click on save. So now I have my automation built. I want to test it out. OK, I'm going back to this store and I will show you the products I have. So if I go now to products under draft, I have all of these products, okay? So let's go, for example, to this first product. It has like a description that doesn't mean anything, okay? And if you go back to the other products, you will see the same. And now once I run it and I go back to my Shopify store, I will find in here full descriptions. As you can see, within minutes, within seconds actually, I was able to generate all of my product descriptions. Once you run the automation and you go back to your Shopify store, it might take a little bit of time depending on how many products you have on your store, but it's just a matter of like seconds or minutes. You will find your description in here, as you can see. I recommend you to read all of the descriptions and to make sure that they are uh, good and they are uh, exactly like you want them to be. I'm pretty sure in the coming weeks and months, I will discover more different ways of how you can use make.com in order to make your work as a business owner way easier and even my work. If you are interested in more videos like these about make.com and AI and stuff that can help you to be more productive and can help you to get a lot of work done in a short time, let me know in the comment section below so I can create more content about these topics. Thank you so much for staying up until the end and for watching this video.